Google Analytics 4 is the latest version of this popular analytics tool. And in this quick video, I will show you how to install it with Google Tag Manager. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to be up to date with Google Analytics 4, make sure to subscribe to this channel. So if you want to install Google Analytics 4 on your website, the process is very straightforward, especially with Google Tag Manager. You can be up and running in several minutes. So let's take a look. By the way, if you have been already using the previous version of Google Analytics called Universal Analytics, I will post a link below the video with some additional migration tips. To get started, you need to log into your Google Analytics account. You can do that by going to analytics.google.com. If you have logged in into the Universal Analytics property, you will see something like this. So if you have no properties, you will probably see some button like create account or create property, something like that. And if you have some property, it doesn't matter which one. It can be Universal Analytics, it can be GA4, but right now we need to go to the bottom left corner and click admin. So if you don't have any Google Analytics 4 properties yet, you will need to click create property right here and then enter your property name. So for example, the name of your website and then click next. And then you will be asked several questions. So you will need to answer them and eventually you will have created your Google Analytics 4 property. Once you have your Google Analytics property created and ready to be installed on your website, then in the admin of your GA4 property, you should click data streams because streams are sources from which you want to send data to your Google Analytics 4 property. It can be iOS apps, it can be Android apps, or it can be websites. If you have upgraded from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4, you will already have one data stream created right here. And if you don't have any data streams yet, you will see something like this when you click on data streams section. In that case, since we are working with a website, we need to click web. And then you will need to enter the address of your website. I mean, the actual URL. So for example, if you have a website of which domain is my website, it could look something like this. And then you can name the stream. So for example, name of your website or something like that. You can keep the enhanced measurement enabled. So this means that the data stream will automatically track several events such as uh, scrolls, outbound link clicks, file downloads, video engagement, and so on. But video engagement in this case applies only to embedded YouTube video players. Then click create stream. And then you will see your data stream appear right here. So let me go back to my previously created GA4 property that I actually had created before starting to record this video. So when I click on this data stream, you will see some tagging instructions, some additional settings, and you'll also see measurement ID. And measurement ID is exactly what we need right now, because in Google Tag Manager, we will need to create a new GA4 tag, and we will need to use this particular measurement ID right there. So to copy this ID, you can click on this icon and it will be automatically copied. Then you should go to Google Tag Manager, click Tags and click New right here. Then go to Tag Configuration and choose GA4 Configuration. Then paste your measurement ID right here. For the most basic setup, this is enough. And all we need to do right now is just add a triggering condition, which is all pages, because we want to fire this tag on all pages. Finally, let's name the tag. You can name it something like that and let's save the tag. And now we should check whether the tag is firing on all pages and everything is working properly. So click preview button in Google Tag Manager, then enter the URL of your website where your Google Tag Manager container is implemented and then click start. In a new tab or a new window, your website will be opened and at the bottom right corner, you will see that debugger is connected. If the debugger is not connected, I will post a link below the video with some additional resources where you can debug and troubleshoot your preview mode. Then when you have enabled your preview mode, you should go to the tag assistant tab and you will see that your GA4 tag is fired because it is in the section called tags fired. I also have another tag from the universal analytics, but this was just created before I started to record this video. So you can ignore this if you want. Then let's check whether the data is coming into 
the GA4 property. So let's go to Google Analytics. And then in the bottom left corner, you will find a new section called Debug View. This is a new feature in Google Analytics 4 that allows you to debug the incoming data on a very granular level. So click the Debug View right here. And then fairly soon, you should start seeing the data coming in. In Google Analytics Debug View, you will see the data only of those visitors who have enabled the debug mode of GA4. So this means that all the visitors, but only certain visitors. For example, everyone who has enabled a GTM preview mode on your website will be displayed here. So I mean those users who have enabled the preview mode that looks like this, and then they have the badge that says connected on the website. So this is one possible option. The other possible group of visitors who will be displayed in the debug view is those who have installed and enabled the Google Analytics Debugger Chrome extension. When this extension is enabled, the data of those visitors will be also visible in the debug view of Google Analytics 4. And then there is one more option where you can manually define uh, the debug mode parameter with every event that you send to Google Analytics but this is out of scope of this video tutorial, so let's keep it that way. Since this tutorial is focused on GA4 and Google Tag Manager, all you need to know right now is that if you have enabled the preview mode on the website, GTM's preview mode will automatically enable the debug mode in Google Analytics 4, and you will start seeing the debug view data right here. Also, once again, if you have just created your Google Analytics 4 property, there might be some delays. So you should be patient. If you don't get the delay, then that's good. Maybe Google has fixed some issues on their end. So if you want to take a closer look at a certain interaction that was sent to Google Analytics, for example, page view, you can click it, and then you will see some additional parameters sent together with that particular event. So for example, we see the session ID, we see the page location, and all the other stuff. So this allows you to debug on a more granular level. So when you start seeing your data coming in in real-time reports, this means that it looks like everything's working properly. So what you could do right now is that you should go to Google Tag Manager and publish your changes so that every visitor of your website was tracked with Google Analytics 4. To do that, you should click Submit button in the top right corner, then enter some version name. I mean, it's optional, but it is highly recommended. So I will name it something like installed GA4 and then click publish. And maybe after several seconds, your container will be published and Google Analytics will be activated for visitors of your website. Now, speaking of reports and where you can see that data, I mean the page view data, you can go to the all events section. However, keep in mind that this does not happen in real time and you will need to wait until you start seeing some data in your non-real-time reports. So if you go to all events right here, you will see some of the events here. And if you have enabled enhanced measurement, you will see more events because things like clicks or scrolls are tracked automatically by the Google Analytics 4 property. And if we talk about, let's say, page view, you can just click on it and you will see a report where only page view event data is displayed. We can see it right here as well, events and then page view. In this video, I will not dive deeper into how to use these reports. So right now you can just play around and try to discover something new by yourself. Speaking of other reports, you can also find page view data in places like engagement and then pages and screens. You will be able to see some data right here then page views will be also available in the events section because Google Analytics 4 is event-based analytics tool. So this means that even page views are events. Basically, everything is an event. So in this case, you can also see the count of the event, for example, how many page views were made per user, and so on. But these are not the only reports where you can see and use things like page view data. You can also take a look at the analysis hub, but topic like this requires a totally different video because, I mean, it requires a deep dive if you want to learn more about things like funnel analysis or path analysis. And that is how you install Google Analytics 4 on your website. If you are watching this video in 2020 or 2021 and you already have the previous GA version installed on your website, 
the best practice is to keep them running both on your website in parallel. But if you are watching this video even more in the future, then feel free to keep using just Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics, consider subscribing. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.